Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, thank you so much for the just the beautiful outpour of comments that you give me, allowing me to help you through your current situation or just your your current path, and allowing you to see that things are beautiful in each and every way. And for with that being said, for that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. You can hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you um, feel comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I hope. Uh, you know, I hope to get the positive feedback and want to get the positive feedback and I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if you're just opening up and letting me know about your empathic gift and how it has impacted your life towards a positive uh, way. And if you feel like the video has been insightful and just gave you good vibes and you really, really felt the message of the content of the video, go ahead and pass it on if you feel like it. And give me a thumbs up and like and even share on your social media favorites. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video and thank you so much for stopping by my channel. And this beautiful music I'm listening to, it sounds zenful like, you know, you're uh, in the Japanese gardens or something like that, but it's called Morning Music of Positive Energy. Harmony, Inner Peace, Music for Mood and Creativity, 432 Hertz. And I will post that link in the description box below. And my video today is about um, empaths manifesting your desires. I almost forgot which one I was doing. Empaths manifesting your desires. It's just like when you know that you are on your journey and you know you are reaching a goal for yourself. It's just that you want a better job. You want you don't even want a job. You want a career that, you know, basically suits your life, suits your, you know, your your way of life and way, your way of needs. And you know you're working towards that. And it might you might not know where your your path is taking you because like I said before, when I first started doing my videos, after I found out so many, you know, traumatic things about myself, I started making, you know, video, video diaries, started jotting down in a journal and stuff like that, and then, you know, I started getting all these ideas and stuff from, you know, watching different YouTubers on different videos and stuff like that, and they're telling them about, telling them, telling them about their story, about their enlightenment, or things that they went through in, on their spiritual journey. So it's just like, I know I wanted to be a motivational speaker. I know I wanted to be an author, a director, and, you know, a musician. You know, follow behind the things that my dad did, you know, but go up along my own path. You know, it's just like I didn't want to live in the shadow of my dad or be, you know, his daughter or stuff like that. Or like, oh, it's his daughter. I have my own name for myself. You know, being self-made. You know, making my own brand. You know, and just walking in my own trademark. So... It was just like making these videos and, you know, knowing, I, you know, just trying to figure out, am I the only one going through these things? Am I the only one? Am I weird? Is there any other person like that that are like me? You know, and the things that I'm going through, do they have a name for this? And it was just like more and more every day I was finding out more about myself and embracing the unknown, embracing the things that I was like, did not see that was possible. But it's just like when you're manifesting these things, you will start seeing the signs and, you know, you start having visual, you know, aspects of, you know, you seeing your life is projecting towards you just as you speak. Just seeing yourself doing things you're not currently doing, but you see it going towards the future. You know, and I just see, you know, the book that I was working on and stuff like that. Um allowing myself to know that, you know, whenever my book is, you know, ready to be illustrated out to the world, knowing that I was going to make a positive impact on people, knowing it's just how powerful my videos are, not to be arrogant or conceited or anything, but knowing the, the true path and the power of the vibes that, you know, the universe has blessed me with that I can be able to bless you with is amazing. You know, and when you're on that path and you see yourself doing the things that you want to do and that, you, you know, it's just like you could be at a sucky job knowing, you know, you complain about it each and every day like, oh God, you know, what am I going to find? Something that I enjoy doing. You know, it's just like some people dread going to their jobs every day. You know, they find up excuses like, dad, can I call in sick today? Because I don't feel like being there. 
So you have to just, you know, when you're on that, that journey and you see that, you know, things are falling apart, it might be, you know, things changing about your job that you know there's like, oh, no, I ain't going to be able to deal with that or, oh, no, I'm not going to do that. You know, it's just the universe pushing you towards things that happen. You might have lost your job recently and it's just like, you know, how did I lose my job over something that was petty like that? The universe had to push you out of that job and, you know, because you weren't going to quit. You're going to keep complaining about it until eventually it, you know, when you don't make those changes, the universe will push you out and make those changes for you. So, you know, there's days that I've been in situations like that to where, you know, I was pushed to do something or something really horrible happened to me to where I had to wake up and say, you know, this is a smack of reality to me. Things have to change. Things are changing for you, but you have to be able to accept it and see the things that are changing around you. It's like the people that I was hanging around or whatever, they started getting worried about me because I wasn't going about things that I usually do or uh, responding to things on that same level anymore. It's just like I was above that or, you know, not that I was above the people that I was hanging around. We were just not on the same frequency as I was before. It's just like I don't find enjoyment out of things that I used to find enjoyable, enjoyable that was bringing a negative, toxic vibe towards my life. So I was able to rearrange those things and you know that, you know, there's places or there's times that you might be put in a place or a vibe that does not suit you or you're getting aggravated or irritable because of negative vibes that you're getting towards it or just the thought process. You're able to change these things, you know, is if you see yourself going down a emotion that might be drained for or hurtful, you're able to set your, your, your mind, you know, your train of mind, your thought, thought process to putting on something that makes you happy. You know, it's just like when I get frustrated and I feel stagnant, I try to find ways to, you know, raise my vibrations to make myself happy, you know, um, Think about more ways that I can enhance my, my channel and more content that I can push towards that other people might be going through at that time. So it's a good thing when I can actually see the fusion of things that I want to do in my life that, you know, is not a job for me. It doesn't feel like a task anymore. There's times where I felt drained and I had to motivate myself again to get back in that. But I knew there was something I had to go through. I had to recharge and I had to reevaluate myself and just step back for a minute and say, you know, what are those things that I'm not really paying attention to? And I know there's things that are that life is showing me and the universe is trying to show me and I'm just really not picking up on it. So I had to really just step back and just sit and look like reevaluate myself and know that you know things that I want in life is is coming my way it's just I had to be able to see the faith of the blessings that were sent towards me to look at it in a different way so you know when you're you're wanting to manifest these things you have to work towards it you know those things are not going to fall in your lap and you know if you're working towards something it is not going to be easy you're going to go through bumps and scratches setbacks and be, be disappointed in a few times but the universe uh, has to see that you you're that go-getter you're, you're that you know that hungry ass tiger that is not going to quit you might be tired for a minute but you you know you take that rest and you don't struggle you know you don't quit you know people might see you struggle might laugh at your mishaps and might you know poke fun at the things that you're looking you know you're going towards but when you can see the things that are coming towards your way you're not allowing people to get in your way or you're not going to allow things that were sent to, you know, try to slow you down, you can be able to get over that obstacle or just give it up to the universe saying, you know, how am I going to be able to see myself through this or at least give me the strength to get through this. And, you know, it's a, a blessing that you can be able to see your things, your, the things that you're going towards in that way, you know, see that yourself, you, you're, you're, you're the better person and in a positive, you're the better person that you always strive to be. And, you know, going through that and seeing that better version of yourself, seeing yourself in that higher light is a true blessing. I don't know about you, but it is to me. And I hope that you are being able to see yourself in that light. I hope you're able to see that your blessings are coming towards your way. You know, you've been working so hard that, you know, it is bound to come out. It's just like you're, you're that flower that is growing inside the concrete that wasn't able to do that. You know, wasn't able to, you know, see any kind of blossom or how is a... a, a a plant will roll it up alone, a flower, able to grow out of this concrete, but yet you were able to do that. 
So I hope you are able to resonate with this video, you know, get something out of it and it sent you some good vibes and gave you some validations on some things that you might be currently going through at this time. So like and subscribe, even hit this notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Drop me a line. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of the video or you're just opening up and telling me about your empathic gift. Or, you know, the video just gave you some a good peace of mind or just gave you some good vibes that you would like to share with a loved one or a friend. Go ahead and do so. And even show, you know, send me a thumbs up and share on your social media favorite. So send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are blessed, highly favored, and truly loved. And know there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. So I hope you have a blessed weekend. Have a safe weekend. And, you know, enjoy it. You know, life is too short being another other uh, other than being happy and blessed. So I will talk to you later. I got some time. <laughs> Peace and be wild.